Hello Wastelanders, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Horizon. So, uh, today we're going to be heading over to the Gwinnett Brewery, clearing that out hopefully, and maybe checking out General Atomics right over here. It's right in front of us. May as well take a look and see what's in here. Uh, there should be some good loot in here. Also some pretty scary robots. I'm not sure if we can do the quest without Ada or not, but I'm going to go through and do as much as I can, uh, because we're here. Might as well get it done, right? Yeah, a lot of dangerous people, a lot of dangerous robots here. Jesus. I don't really want to die at the very start of the episode. Shoot him in the foot. Gotta be safe, man. There should be some... At least one fusion core in here as well. Not sure if it's there or not, but you do that little quest back there. And you get one. Yeah, wasn't kidding. These guys are pretty dangerous. Pretty rough. Bill Wilson, go. Give me all that stuff. I think last time I was back through here, this area was bugged out, but it looks like it's fixed now. Uh, I forget how you get back through here. Probably a terminal around here somewhere. Once we lose our caution, I'll go ahead and use a regular Medicaid bandage to heal up here to full. There we go. Just a regular bandage, that'll work. I must have looted that somewhere. That'll work. I don't think you can looting that stuff over there. Yeah, right over here was definitely bug. Like, I, I walked through here and it just gave me, like, a, a weird textures missing type thing. But that's good. Looks like it's fixed now. Probably something to do with my loadout. Not Horizon or anything else, but probably had something installed incorrectly. Knowing me... Crap. Not what I was going for. I was going to snipe him from up there. Don't think we have to actually hack that. Pretty sure we can just... I saw something lootable over here. I can't see it now, though. Eh. I didn't expect them to blow up that fast. Usually you can loot them before they blow up. Guess not. Well, 
thankfully the power armor protected us. Okay, these guys I do recall being very dangerous. Not that one, but... You cannot shoot them through the doors. But you can shoot them through the gaps. So I'll see if he'll either move or maybe I can get an angle on him to shoot him through the gap there. They don't seem to want to shoot me through there, which is good. Not much point sneaking anymore. They seem to have uh, realized I'm here. I think I've killed most of them anyway. Seems like I can do this quest without Ada though. It's letting me go pretty far in. Yeah, we're on the opposite side of that door I just hacked now. There was, like, no need to hack that, but whatever. Okay, I think we're done down here. Let's go back up into the main area. Maybe that guy will have de aggroed by now, and he'll have moved into a spot where I can... Hopefully get a shot off onto him. Go back. There we go. Okay, that'll do. Call the, spe the specifics of this quest. I know you have to go install a device on a robot, and she's not happy about it. Jezebel, I think. Not sure exactly. Wonder where that radio is coming from. But that is the uh, objective here. We got the objective, just, just that thing. And then the other area. Greetings, Unit Seven Six One. Welcome to the General Atomics Quality Assurance Department, where we assure your functionality is up to our high standards. We must run a few tests before returning you to your caregiving duties. Now please, proceed into the first test chamber. First, we must test your disciplinary and behavioral management skills. A quality assurance associate will be playing the role of your hypothetical charge, Little Timmy. Little Timmy has broken a valuable vase while playing catch in the house. The vase was a family heirloom, and it is quite irreplaceable. Please, punish the child accordingly. Fantastic. The appropriate punishment was separation of the child from any potential source of entertainment. And please remember, corporal punishment is strictly forbidden unless the user enables it in your configuration mode. Please proceed into the second test chamber. A proper mismanaged unit must be able to identify the needs of our charges. Please assess the state of the crying child and fulfill its needs. Don't you have to, like, dump a bottle in here or something? I think you just loot the bottle. 
We see baby bottle. Put a blowtorch in there. That's what we should do. Or the hacksaw, maybe. Rattle, maybe? Or is there a bottle? Okay, guys. Um, so I think what happened is that Wilson auto looted the baby bottle. There's supposed to be a large baby bottle here that you can take and give to the baby. So I am going to give one to myself and then transfer to the baby and hopefully that'll work. Okay, large baby bottle added. Let's transfer that over. Please work, please work, please work. Correct. There the we child go. Was angry. Your vocal tonality analysis programming seems to be in working order. Please take this opportunity to reconfirm that any deprecated muffling procedures are not left in your programming. Now please proceed into the third testing chamber. Wait, is the wrong one? What's over here? That's right. We will now test your hazard detection matrices. Please child-proof this environment by moving any hazardous object to where little ants cannot reach. Child-proof the room. I think there's a machete lying around somewhere here. Yeah. Literally a machete laying there. Something else? Maybe a Braxo is probably not good for the baby either. Do I need to put that somewhere else? Okay, I found it, guys. It's the adjustable wrench. There we go. All potentially fatal objects have been put out of a child's reach. Please remember, children have a penchant for finding ways to arm themselves. They never are truly safe. Absolute diligence is required. Congratulations! It appears you are fully functional and ready to return to service. Please take a replacement fusion core from the safe in the hallway on your way out. Combast Impact 2, very nice. This is, by the way, that is, by the way, why I don't want children, because they're, they're just like walking suicide machines. Like, they just, they, they try to kill themselves, and I don't want to be responsible for that. It's too much, man. No, thank you. Someone was working on a robot in the can. Okay, that should be everything. Yeah, I think we're done. All right, out we go. All right, that's done. And last thing is to go check out Gwinnett Brewery. I'm not sure what's here. I'm going to check around the back of this place first. So there's a, there was a boat and some stuff back here. Ought to be some loot. Some free stuff back here we can get. Those cars look trash. I don't think we can, uh, can scrap anything over there. Looks like nothing here, though, unfortunately.
Okay. Over to the brewery we go. I'm gonna check out this little little pier over here. Not much out here. Okay, write this off. Write this off, there's not much here. Nothing here. At least we know we searched it. Oh, it's a Primus we didn't loot. Okay, there might be some mutants over here. Oh no, this is one of those guys. I don't- I think it's just ghouls. No, maybe it's mutants. I'm not really sure. I don't remember properly. Excuse me, Gate. That's why this thing is so good. It has that stun lock animation. You just beat on things until they're dead and they can't retaliate too much. I haven't checked this junkyard either. All the cars here look like they're rusted out though. No good. Don't want to mess with that, or do I not want to? Where is that? Yeah. Minutemen. What are you guys fighting? Some kind of robot, obviously. Where did he go? Who the hell knows? Okay. He's gone. There's no way we're getting that body. Gonna make me go around, huh? Boston Police Department. Should be an Eddie Winter tape over here, which I do want to collect all of them if I can. And take Nick out and do that quest. Kind of a cool quest. Go and take out Eddie Winter. Oh, it's this asshole. Guy that sells you a charge card, he deserves his eye. He's scamming people.
Doesn't have the uh, charge cards on him, though. It's interesting. Go through, must be clipping on the wall. I'm just gonna wait then, we'll do it later. Get the area over there later. Um, I thought maybe there was a uh, fusion core up here. Nah, different, different roof probably that I'm thinking of. nothing up here. All right, let's go. Let's go over to uh, Gwinnett Brewery then. There are lots of mines around Gwinnett Brewery. Ooh, legendary one. Oh man, nice, nice swing there, Nora. Right in the face. The face is the place, as they say in Overwatch. You're playing a uh, face rushing deck. Not Overwatch, uh, Crystone. If I open this up and there's nothing in here, man. I've opened like three containers recently and there's just been nothing in them. Sweet. I think maybe that's because uh, Wilson is getting stuff before I am. Could just be empty though too, I don't know. I was so close. I think this is all Meyer Lurks in here, in this area. Hey, guys, stop pushing me around. Stack up that bleed damage, let that take care of him. Okay, so far, so good. Gotta remember to get that grisly meat and put it in my uh, compost bin at some point. I guess he did get some swings off. I'm 
definitely gonna get disease tonight when I sleep. After crawling around in the muck and killing Meyer lurks all day. For sure. Trying to remember my, my way around here. That's right, little area up here. Oh, isn't there a, um, maybe not. I thought there was a, maybe it's on the roof. There's a, um, a beer holotape. You can get Buddy and teach him to brew beer. Nice. Which is extremely helpful in Frost. Not really such a big deal in Horizon since we have no compunctions about killing people in this in this mod. Okay, right, the roof, that's where we should get the tape to make Gwinnett brew. And then I thought there was another area here too. Maybe I'm thinking of a different brewery though. But I thought there was a different area that had more... Oh yeah, there is, there is. Uh, you have to go through that tunnel down the bottom, which I don't think I'll do that because that tunnel has those radiation barnacles that do a lot of damage, do a lot of rad damage. Alright, rooftop. Oh. Yeah, I'm not looking to tangle with you guys right now. I'm sure that'd work in real life. Just shoot that bar and it would just pop right off. Yeah, definitely would not work. Really? I gotta get out of the power, power armor for that? Our power armor's busted up, man. We gotta do some repairs once we get back. Okay, it gives you some map locations for places where they send their beer to, and of course we got the tape as well. Cool. Come on. Every once in a while, the game just, like, lags whenever I switch weapons for whatever reason. I think maybe it's because I'm using this thing. So what's the... Okay, clear out when I brew it. I saw the entire quest, just clear it out. Oh, it's, be it's for a Brotherhood thing, I bet. Okay, that makes sense. What are you doing? He was like... Stuck between a sit down and a get up animation. Kept flipping back between back back and forth between them. Okay, the main brewery. Isn't this where we were before? Do I have to go down through the bottom? I might have to. No, there's another way you can get in, isn't there? I was quite sure there was another way you can get in. Whatever though, we're in we're here, we're just gonna do it. I'll take some rads, it's not a big deal. Assuming I can find where it's at again. Really, he followed me in. I sniped his buddy and he followed me in here. Burn through that uh, mini. What's that? That mini core there, really quick. Oh, it's over here, and he's over here too, which is good. That hunting rifle hurt.
Okay, yeah, the restaurant, that's right. It's like a different entrance. Get in the restaurant, and it wasn't like that many rads. I just recall it being a lot. What? Good lord, man. Okay, I, I take it back. There are a lot of... There are a lot of rads in here. No fight today. We got him taken care of quickly. Okay, cool. We got it. We got the quest. That's good because I'm taking major rads down here. Just about out of ammo. We got plenty of 5.56 we can use up. Got some kind of right arm there. I think it was a T45 or a 51. Takes us down to lower level. Improvised War Club, I think that's the highest DPS two hander in the game. This one does a tiny bit less. Good lord, those rad. I don't recall this being such a heavily irradiated place. Hey, you disappear, you hear? You hear? Stop hiding. Like, I'm just taking crazy rads in here. Ooh, a bunch of 7.62 ammo. It's nice. Running pretty low, so, uh... That's good. Not a bunch. I guess I got a couple rounds. I think that's it, which is good because that's just about all of our ammo, too. I don't think there's anything 
that we need the beer for. We probably just sell it to a vendor. Yes, we are hungry, aren't we? Let's see. That should do. I think. Are we? Are we no, we're still hungry. Do we have parasites? We do. Yeah, parasites. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay. Uh, psychotats. <laughs> Wasted some food there. Ooh, nice. Thing is he was four. Survival skills. Okay, that should be everything. You need to get rid of some of these rads, man. What? The heck was that? Since when does it... You guys seeing this shit? I'm doing like a karate chop. Okay, that's not how it's supposed to work. Okay, that's a bug. That's definitely a bug. I mean, I like that. It's a really quick smack type of animation. Which is better. It's not as long of a wind-up as the uh, proper regular animation. But... That's not normal. Okay, we're back up here. I think that's pretty much everything. And the quest is done after all. So yeah, I think we're done. We're done here. Okay, back out we go. Oh boy, even more rads. There are definitely some, yeah, there's some mines around here. I cannot even see that and... Okay. Got it, but... It was invisible. Mmm, dust bands. That's good junk. What? Really? Seriously. Can't loot this for whatever reason. It got like... Got... I don't know, like it's part of the, the world mesh now for some reason. Got off one shot. We're bastards. There's not much in this high school, but you know. 
quick area we can hop into and get some loot from and get out of. I don't think there's any any enemies in there or anything. Unless there are, in which case I'll stand corrected. It's a cool looking location though. I think I've taken some pretty cool screenshots in here. But yeah, it's mostly just some free loot. Nice, more armor, more tailoring there. Or no, wait, blacksmithing is, uh... Never mind, blacksmithing is like melee weapons and power armor, I think. Okay, I think we're done here. There's like, there's not, like I said, there's not, there's not much here, but, you know, might as well come in and get some free loot. Alright, well it is thoroughly nasty out. Uh, our power armor is pretty damn busted up. I'm thinking... I don't know, we don't have a whole lot of ammo left either. I mean, there's nowhere to really rest over here either. I mean, there is Jamaica Plains. We could take Jamaica Plains and set this up as a settlement real quick. Although, a lot of feral ghouls over there, which is fine. I can take out feral ghouls, I guess. Um... But I might want to set up a, a place to rest and stuff and repair my power armor and stuff before I go any deeper in here. Get this frag mine before I forget about it. I actually see this one at least. Had in mind there were even more than that. There were like several more around here. But I think we're going to end the episode here. So, in the next one, um, I'll be maybe going and trying to do Minutemen stuff real quick and get that done. I guess we can just do that and get that so I'm gonna set up and then we'll have a settlement over here we can rest at. Be nice to have a place that we can go to to rest at and strike out from in this area to go down to this area and stuff, because there's some pretty amazing loot and stuff down here, but also some very, very scary enemies, so... Uh, yeah, I guess next one we will go and take the castle finally and do some setup over there. I don't know if I'll do an extensive castle build like I've done in the past. Um, it's fun to do that, but it's also incredibly time consuming. Uh, like we're talking, you know, hundreds of hours to set up a, a nice castle settlement, like an Oxhorn style lived in settlement. So I don't know if I'll do that or not, but uh, we'll see. So, anyways, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.